Hi folks! In this short video, we're going to be setting up our Cribble search environment to connect to our Azure Blob storage account and start searching data within it. Let's get started. First, let's navigate to Data, Dataset Providers. We have to create a dataset provider, which essentially tells Cribble where to query and what access credentials to use. Let's click Create Provider in the top right and select Azure Blob as your dataset provider type. Once you do that, you'll see a number of new fields open up. Let's go ahead and give this um, dataset provider an ID and description. You'll see two options for authentication down below. One is using a connection string, which defines the resource to access and its authentication information. And the second is with shared access signatures, which provides secure delegated access to your containers within your storage account. In this tutorial, we're going to be leveraging connection string. We'll need to navigate over to our Azure portal at this time to set up a storage account container and get the necessary connection string. You may already have a storage account and containers ready to go in your environment. So flipping over to Azure, here we are at storage accounts. I've already created a storage account with my defaults in here. Within it, I have a container named archive data with some sample data that we're going to be using to search. Going back to the storage account, let's navigate to access keys down below and grab our connection string for our, for our storage account here. Let's copy that value and pivot back into our Cribble search environment. From here, we can paste our connection string and put in our storage account location. Mine is located in US West too. Once you're ready, hit save and your data set provider is ready to go. The next step is to set up our data set. This will tell Cribble Search which data specifically to search from our data set provider. So navigating to data set, let's click on add data set in the top right, give it an ID and description. Under data set provider, let's go ahead and select the Azure Blob provider that we just created and you'll see a few fields pop up here. The first is the container name. In my case, I had a container that I had already created named archive data. You can also add any tokenized prefixes here for your container using similar syntax to that in the tooltip. So a lot of times we will have time-based tokenized fields or others. You can also add any filters that you may need in the path filter. This field accepts any JavaScript expression. Once all of that's done, let's hit save and our data set is ready to use. You can start searching by either navigating back to the homepage and starting a search there, or you can leverage the search action button at the end of the row for your data set. This will bring up the search window as well as a, a search in that data set. And there you have it, search results from our Azure Blob storage account and container. Thanks for watching.